morning church and this is the morning devotion so we'll open our bibles to second corinthians chapter 12 verse 9 second corinthians chapter 12 verse 9 so let us read it but he said to me my grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in weakness therefore i will boast all the more gladly of my weakness so that the power of christ may rest upon me let's pray father we once again thank you this wonderful day and this morning pray for this portion lord open our ears incline our heart lord open our hearts let this word go deep into our heart lord in jesus precious name i pray amen the title of this message is boasting in our weakness in the natural world it is better to be strong and to be muscular so that when people look at hers they say this person is big and he is muscular and he's strong and at times when someone gives us one blow we have to give them two blows or three blows so that we could be known as a strong man or a muscular man but that is absolutely opposite in our spiritual world in our spiritual world, God expects us to be meek person, to be humble person, and to have the humility to always go before God and ask God for His grace and His power to bestow upon us. But rarely we see these all qualities being practiced in our Christian circle. At times, God blesses us with certain gifts. But in spite of we glorifying God and thanking God, we try to boast about our gifts. And this is not what God expects of us, but God expects of us to be always a meek person and, and a humble person. At times, we give a lot of attention to the situations and to our problems rather than glorifying God and praising God in whatever situation we are. We all have God's grace, provision for our every need. God's grace has been given to us when we do not deserve it. God receives at Christ, God's grace has been given to us at Christ's expenses. And Christ's fullness have we all received grace upon grace. John 1.16 The verse we read, Paul cried out to God to take away the pain that he has. But God said to him, My grace is sufficient for you because my power is made perfect in your weakness. God's power is perfected in our weakness. In our Christian life, it is about God's grace. There is never a shortage of God's grace. God is sufficient for our spiritual ministries, 2 Corinthians 3, 4 and 6. And for our material needs as well as our physical needs. Paul further says that therefore I will happily boast about my weakness so that the Christ's power may rest upon me. Paul is saying in my meekness, in my weakness, in my pain, in my trouble, in my suffering, I will boast all the more so that the power of Christ is perfected in me. And we too can have this mind and thought that whenever we suffer, whenever we are in pain, whenever we go through difficult times, we can always be silent and go to God and dwell upon God's promises and continue to read the Bible more and more. And just wait upon God to speak to us in all the situation that we go through. 
and God is a God of promise. He will surely speak to you in all that you go through. But we always we always need to boast in our in our weakness so that the power of Christ may dwell upon us. As Paul claimed God's promise, we should also focus on God's promise. God strengthen us in our weakness and suffering when we focus on God's word and God's promises. And in in closing, let us draw near to God so that in all the situation God puts this in our life so that we become strong in Christ and the power of Christ is manifested in our life. Okay, thank you and have a blessed day. Amen.